Hey, what's up, guys? Zach Calhoun here, co-founder of CloudPano.com. Hope you're doing well today. Um, if you did not know what CloudPano was or you are seeing this for the first time, CloudPano is the world's best 360 virtual tour software platform. We have a lot of cool updates coming in today. I'm updating you on something new. So I wanted to go ahead and show you what this new feature is. So when you log into cloudpan.com, you just click try it out to sign in or upgrade to GoPro Plus, which you should do as soon as possible. When you click on your dashboard, so app.cloudpan.com forward slash tours, you're on your dashboard and it shows all the tours you've created, all the hopefully um, really awesome, incredible virtual tours you have made for your clients and for your business. When you, uh, if you look up here to the left sidebar, you see a, a new option that says share with teams. You click on that option and it kind of explains what teams is our new feature, how to use it. Um, and most of it's self-explanatory, but I want to kind of walk through it with you so that you can fully utilize this as a resource and also understand it as we have new releases within teams in the future and how we manage a lot of aspects of collaboration on cloudpano.com. So, when you click share with teams, it's a, it says right here, build 360 experiences together. Make Cloud Panel Tours easy um, with your teams. Start by creating a team. So when you click create a team, this is what happens. Well, actually, I'll show you. There's a quick dashboard here. It will say your teams, all teams, teams that I own, teams that I have joined. So I haven't joined any teams right now. That's why there's nothing there. So here's one team that I own. I have a little test team here called Zach's team. And then also all teams. Okay, so if I click create a new team, I can title it whatever I want. So let's call it uh, blue team. Okay, let's do that. Let's make a blue team. Okay. Next, I can immediately invite other people to join my team. So let's say I want to invite Clayton to my team. Uh, Clayton, let's see. So you have to be, at this point, oh, here he is. Let's add him right here. Oh, I had two people here. Okay, so when you click on it, it moves them up to the top. And I'm going to have one of them. You can actually change the permission level of the folks that you find here. Now, listen, you have to be inside the database on Cloud Pillar. You have to be a Pro Plus member to be on a team, okay? And that will that will have some upgrades and changes to that in the future uh, with some lower level type sub account, host accounts. But right now, to, to join someone's team, you have to be a Pro Plus. So it's important to note. So if you can't find someone on here, that's why. Okay, um, so and also too, you can add in a uh, add an email right here as well. But um, so I'm going to add Clayton um, just one time here. Okay, just I'm going to add Clayton here. He can edit tours here. Okay. So I'm going to say, "Hey, dude, what's up? Join my team." Okay, then you click next, share tours. So now you want to select which tours you want to share with them. And essentially, you look at your team like a folder. Okay, your team and who, what tours they have access to is up to you as the team leader. Okay, so I'm going to add this one and this one, and let's uh, maybe pick uh, this one right here. Okay, I'll have some, some Arturo's examples. Okay, click finish, or you can also skip for now if you want to. So I'm going to click finish. Congratulations, you have created a new team. Very simple, right? Your new team is ready for collaboration. We sent invites to any users you add to your team. Okay, now click review my team. As you can see here, we have blue team has now popped up, and there's three tours here, right? Pretty cool, right? So Quite simply, I click into my team, and now the tours that are within this team um, are here that I've already added, added in them. Of course, I can actually add more tours by clicking the Add Tours button. I can scroll through the tours that are on my account and add them. I can also add more managers or more add more people that are within my team. And you'll notice these, these, these modes that pop up are very similar. They give you similar options. You, you can change the permission of the people within your team. So they can, they can only view the tours within your dashboard. As you come up with more white label type teams, dashboards, and features, this will be a very utilized feature. And you can um, edit. So, uh, so if, if obviously editing is a higher authority than viewing. And also I can, I can obviously remove this person from my team, okay? So uh, that's how you kind of manage your members within this team itself. This particular example is called the blue team. All right. Also, you'll notice here is a new um, option below your team's tours option. It says revo revoke team access. So I can re at any point just remove this off of my or off or remove this thing off of the um, team's selection. So I just basically just take it out of the folder. I don't delete. I, I, it does not delete the tour. It just removes them from 
your team's access from that quote unquote folder. Okay. It's important to know deleting the team does not delete any of the tour data. Any tours owned by you will still be accessible. Any tours shared with you via your team is, will no longer be accessible. Your users will receive an email indicating their team has been deleted and that the access to other team member tours is revoked. So just a quick note here about deleting the team. Okay, so in case you, in case you select the, the delete a team feature, okay? It's more about access than it is about actual deleting tour data. Okay, so with that being said, um, we have the blue team here. If I go back and click share with my teams, I have two teams. I have the Zach team, I have the blue team. Um, and I've owned both these teams. They're both within my own the teams uh, category and no one's really invited me to a team. I'm just so sad. Okay, so check this out. When I click into the blue teams and I see all the tour with, within this blue team, or let's say it was a real estate company and it was Compass or it was Keller Williams or you know, it had a specific team you worked with. That's how you would utilize this particular organizational feature and access feature, okay? Now, so, something I wanted to note, if I click view, well, actually what I meant was if I click edit, that's what I want to go to. So if I edit this tour, we are in the typical cloud panel, you know, dashboard editor that we know, like, and love. If you look down here in the bottom right, or I'm sorry, bottom left, there's a Teams icon. Okay, so you'll notice that this particular tour was shared with the blue team. Okay, I can change which team has access to this tour, the exact team, and bam, all of a sudden it's, it's within that folder, right? Blue team, um, I'm going to change it back there for now. Remember, you want to click apply to save these changes. Also, we have the team members who have access to this. So remember, so if you recall, I added Clayton uh, as the uh, editor here. So I clicked uh, can edit. And you want to save that with apply. I can change to can view and also click apply there. Okay. So if I want to add members and change defaults on my dashboard, I just click here. It takes me back to my team's dashboard. Now I'm going to go back quickly for a moment and back into the store. Click my Teams icon. If you look here, there's also a history of changes. So right now, no team member has edited this tour. So there's no actual, um, you know, editor or any differences here. So let's just go right here and put a med ball or something. Let's just call it a med ball. That's what it is. Missing ball. Um, and as you go as you as you go about making changes and you publish these changes, you'll get a little history down there of other team members who have made changes to your tour. Okay. Here's the med ball. Um, yeah, so that's how that works. And you'll notice that when you go to your tours dashboard, so my original dashboard, you'll see this little icon up here. What this, why this icon is here, basically it's just indicating that this is a Teams shared tour, okay? So if for whatever reason you want to have two tours, one only you have access to, one your team has access to, very easy to do. Just clone that tour and give access to that clone of that clone to your team. Okay. This makes editing and creating virtual tours much easier. If you have a team, if you have an administrative uh, person, personnel within the office who wants to edit tours for you, just make them, make them a pro plus account and then uh, throw all your, all your tours into a specific team. So as you get bigger and your, and your, and your business gets bigger, you're going to want to uh, utilize this feature to help you stay organized. And of course, be able to uh, outsource you know, virtual tour editing as needed uh, if you need to. And just overall, just be able to uh, manage and take care of permissions and organization of those per permissions within your cloud panel dashboard. Now, super important to note, over time, we're going to be updating and utilizing this Teams feature so that you can uh, quickly spin up and use this for different types of accesses. So keep an eye out for the team's feature in the future, how we use it, how we, uh, how, how you can use it as well too for your business. And also too, just to make your life easier. Okay. I hope you take advantage of this team's feature today. Um, hop onto it as fast as you can. And of course, if you're not already, if you haven't already done it, upgrade your account to pro plus go to cloudpayo.com today. Click upgrade, add a card, become a Pro Plus member, and I'll see you on the inside.